Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I have some helpers with me today because I want to talk to you about childlike faith. What does it mean to actually have childlike faith? And so I want to talk to some children who have some faith today. So I'm going to ask them a few questions. So Annie, I want to ask you, who is Jesus? Um, he's the Son of God. He's the Son of God. All right. And what, Daddy, what did Jesus do for us? Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. Yes, he did. So we and, could go to heaven. Yeah, he did. And Annie, is he with us? Yes. How often is he with us? All the time. All right. And Annie, when we're afraid, who do we get to turn to? Jesus. Mm. Jesus, yeah. And does God, does mm -hmm. Jesus ever stop loving us? No. No. Does he ever stop loving us? No. Does he promise to forgive us no matter what? Yes. What do you think, Lainey? Does he promise to forgive us? Um, Jesus. Jesus, yes, all right. Well, anyway, I just wanted to yeah. share that with you because, you know, when it comes to faith, so often we, we overcomplicate things, we make it difficult. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18, Jesus is talking to his disciples about who is the greatest, and he calls a child to him, and he says this, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. That childlike faith that we are to have. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. That childlike faith that we are supposed to have. It's, it's, it's the idea that we trust in God and the simple things and the big things. Like I so said, we overcomplicate this sometimes, but, but God is there for us all the time. And he loves us all the time. And so my encouragement for you today is to have faith like a child, to trust in God no matter what you're going through because he is there for you and he loves you and he forgives you and nothing can separate you from his love. God bless you.